Hello everybody, and today I'm reviewing Ninja Turtles. We are reviewing Meet Mondo Gecko. So Mondo Gecko was from the 80s show. He was more lizard looking, but in this he looks like a gecko. And I gotta say, Mondo Gecko, honestly, in this episode honestly inspired me a little. So it's kind of just like Mikey's bored, like Everyone's kind of just doing their own thing. Leo is sparring with April. Donnie's doing science stuff. Raph's playing with toys. And Mikey got the hang out with Casey because he's born as well. And that's where they bump into Mondo Gecko. And we learn his story. So during the back in season two, uh, the Mugen spell from early season two, like I said, uh, apparently that Mugen also hit, uh, Mondo Gecko, who was, uh, just skateboarding. His real name is Jason, and he, the reason why he's a mutant gecko, because he had a pet gecko. Who knows what happened to that gecko, though. Then his parents kicked him out, for some reason, I guess, because they just didn't like him being a mutant. It's harsh parents. But, uh, Mikey and Casey are willing to be Mondo's friend, but it isn't until Mondo kind of has a more sinister side that's where they bump into uh uh hun and the purple dragons and i don't know why i'm gonna really say this a lot of people make the argument that mikey's stupid in this i can kind of see i feel like he acts dumb but maybe he's not dumb i don't know he has done things to help his brothers and he's loyal to them but in this moment he like he like thinks it's cool whatever that the purple dragons are uh he they they make he sees them trying to steal something but he doesn't think they're stealing at first he's like oh, okay go along but mikey knows that's the purple dragons and you know the purple dragons they they're criminals and they like to steal and then M casey's like uh mikey don't you realize what they're doing and he's like oh and then then hunt appears and then it's a big battle and it's quite cool casey does his best to take down hun Mondo Gecko, uh, he doesn't really do much. He, tr yeah, Mondo can't really fight at all. <laughs> like he tries to, but it just doesn't work out. And he literally almost falls off a building. And earlier, he oh he accidentally almost caused Casey to fall off. And he thought it was funny. And then Casey was like, "Hey, I could have been hurt." And he has a point. And like, I think they defeat Hun when because he slipped on a sk Mondo skateboard after they rescued Mondo. And Hun just falls into a dumpster. So uh, he died. He almost died of stupidity. <laughs> I don't know. Dumb luck is more the right word. I don't know what I'm saying. But anyway. Uh, so uh, Mondo and Casey uh, kind of split up after Casey the, uh, gives the cops to the purple dragons. Like, he, yeah, you get my point. Because uh, he doesn't, Casey doesn't trust Mondo because he tried to steal their money and almost got them hurt. But, uh, Mikey is hanging out with Mondo, but it isn't until Mikey's pulled into a trap by Mondo. And it turns out Mondo is working with Fishface. Who, and we see more of Fishface's greedy side. Since, as we know, when he was human, he was a thief. And we see that side when he's uh, forcing Mikey and Casey, who he also captured, to uh, do a, a race. For just for money, and Fishface is basically gonna cheat, and Mondo's like, "Oh, are the turtles that bad?" And they and like Fishface is like, "Yes," but you know, uh, Mondo decides he has a change of heart. He rescues Mikey and Casey, and the big race goes on. And we get this weird scene where Fishface is like talking to the mic, but then like he introduces the race, and we see a bunch of the old villains. We see a uh, spider bite, snake weed, the foot cleanse, uh, uh, Shredder's goons, basically, and yeah, it was a nice little crossover of all the villains, <laughs> but they're just the audience. I do like the scene where Baxter accidentally spits on Tiger Claw, and he's just like, "You did not just do that." And then the race happens. They nearly die. They get hit by electric trash cans or something. And I actually really like this race. I like how they're all on skateboards, rollerblades, and Fishface is clearly cheating, and he gets defeated. Uh, I think they win by Mondo uh, 
using his tongue to hit the finish line. And Mikey's like, yes! And Ma- and Fisher's like, oh, you guys cheated! But even though Fisher is a hypocrite since uh, he cheated, since he was using rocket boosters on his uh, his little skates on his legs, parasitic legs... But uh, Fish Race is just defeated when he's ran over by uh, the turtles because they were lo- shell razor when they were looking for Mikey in case since they know they've been gone for a while. And then Leo's, I do like the line where Leo's like, oh, I told you, Raph, they weren't in any no trouble. And I think uh, Mikey, Casey, and Mondo reconcile. And this episode is basically the origin of the turtles saying Cowabunga. Since they usually say it in the shows, but because they kept saying Booyakasha, they decided to say now say Cowabunga. But this is until they meet the 80s Turtles. The 80s Turtles start saying Booyakasha and Cowabunga. Same goes with the 2012 Turtles. So Booyakasha or Cowabunga? It's a debate now. What's better, Cowabunga or Booyakasha? What do you think? If any of you are watching this, uh, and not many people watch this channel, but like, if you want to comment what you think is better, go right ahead. So, uh, anyway, that's Meets Mondo Gecko. It's, this is a very just fun episode. It's just, it's a nice setback from the usual story. And just have a fun episode with a new character. And I really like Mondo. Like, he's very hyper. And he's voiced by Robbie Riss, the original Michelangelo from the 90s movie. So, uh, it's nice to see that the 90s Turtles are returning to their... Some kind of Ninja Turtle form, even though they're not playing the Turtles. Which is nice. So, uh, yeah, I'd probably give this episode like an 8 out of 10 or 7. It's fun. Not the best of the show, but it, it's just a nice episode. And honestly, this episode inspired me to, when I saw it, I actually, I was, this episode was super fun for me. And I actually inspired me to get my own skateboard. So, yeah, I never really got to learn how to ride it, but uh, it was fun. That's a personal story of mine. So, uh, I don't know what the next episode is. I think it's... The Karai episode, going back to the story of Karai. So, uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching, and Turtle Power!